I thought I would uh, explain kind of my air system, the way I air up my tires and the way I air down my tires. Uh, it's a DYI system that I decided to build using all the parts and saved a lot of money. Thought I would uh, allow y'all to build your own interpretation or see if you like it or anything uh, that could help you get to the trail, get on the trail quicker, uh, help other people uh, air down their tires. I know uh, I recently went and it's normally with some new people that are trying to get into the sport type of deal or trying to just take their vehicle off road and don't know a lot about it. Uh, this is more of a quick way, quick easy way for me to do it and this is how it is. Uh, I have a Bayer 450 uh, little compressor mounted on the hood to air up, but more importantly airing down uh, how you're not bent down at every tire for two or three or four minutes, checking the air pressure, uh, stopping, starting, stopping, starting. Uh, it's just a lot of hassle. Got my system all hooked up. Uh, all the tires are chucked. You can see with the hoses off the ground, not touching, uh, not getting dirty. So here's my deflator chuck. That's just ran to nothing. It's, it's not even hooked up. It's more of a holder. But I have all four tires hooked up. We're currently at... 29.5 PSI, that's what I like to run at on the highway. And we're gonna just, we'll go ahead and start the stopwatch and I just turn the valve and let it go. Start. There you have it guys, probably under three minutes. Under three minutes, all four tires are aired down to the same PSI that I run when I'm wheeling. Uh, you just can't beat that. I didn't, I didn't bend down four times and I just chilled out the rest of the time. So now I'm gonna unhook the system, let you know how I bag it up and uh, then we'll talk about the air up. about it is I just use the Vi air bag that I use my compressor out of. I just put it all back in here. Fits pretty well. Definitely this system is bigger than the typical air down deflator system we have. All of us use is the the curry whether you get a knockoff or whether you get the real one. Uh, this is a curry valve deflator. Uh, so you're bent down at every tire, screwing it on, checking your pressure, unscrewing your valve, stop, check your pressure, and you're only at one tire. And I'm bent down here for two or three minutes each tire normally. Uh, so you're talking, let's just say two minutes for each tire. That's eight minutes that you're bent down. Uh, checking your checking your tires there and down so this system I think is is super cool super easy to build so I'll show you how I air up uh, it's it's pretty much the same setup 
except I've got a Vier compressor under here I'll show you and uh, explain to you how it works and we'll get a time on it and see how long it takes to uh, go from 13 up to 30 where I run on the highway so so this valve or this chuck is gonna be my air in so I just put my compressor on and I have air ran to this chuck so I'll deploy my system Now that all my tires are chucked up, ready to start airing up, we're at 13 PSI. We'll start the stopwatch and see how long it takes to go from 13 to 30 with this little, uh, you'll see I got a Vire uh, 400, 400P, nothing special. It's made to air up 35 inch tires. Uh, we'll see how long it takes. So here we are hooked up, ready to uh, start the inflation process. Uh, like I said, I've got everything hooked up already. I have a Vire 400P uh, compressor, and it's just on a toggle switch. I've got it ran. I've got the line plumbed down to my uh, grill where I want to plug my uh, uh, pressure gauge in at. So we'll open the valve and turn on the system. I like the Vire system. It's fairly quiet compared to some of the other ones. Uh, I've had absolutely no problem with it mounted under the hood with the heat that the TJ motor puts off. So I'm just going to run that and see what happens and how it goes. I've had it for probably two years now at least and zero issues. went from 13 pounds of air pressure back up to 30 for highway driving uh, it was 13 minutes is what the stopwatch said we uh, virtually did nothing standing around the whole time it was doing it I could have fixed a sandwich I could have got something to eat type of deal could have got a snack uh, while I was fixing the air up and head home so it's definitely definitely the biggest benefit to me would be not having to be at every tire putting air in every tire bent down checking you just virtually watch it go uh, and just kind of monitor it uh, I'm gonna take it off lay it down here look at it tell you how what the components are and stuff and if you want to build your own I spent roughly you could probably spend upwards of a hundred you could probably spend around 60 I'm in it for probably around $80. There's some stuff I might change, might not. Uh, some of the, the valves right here, when you take this off, it has a blow by so it don't, it don't keep the air. So if I pull this one off, it's gonna start letting air out of the three. Uh, 
it don't take me long to walk around. You'll probably lose a half a pound of air maybe by the time you get all the way through uh, from what I've seen. But they have chucks that are not blow by. So when you uncheck it, it shuts it off. So that may be something I go to, but they're a little pricey and I wanted to keep it a, a low budget on it just to see, see how it worked, but it works great. I may upgrade. Uh, you may want to upgrade and build your own. This could fit a JK, uh, a Gladiator, something longer. You'll see when I unhook the back one, I can stretch it out. There's plenty of hose left. So here's what we got. I got a valve, a uh, four-way air chuck, uh, tire pressure, just push in, just the simple push in fittings. Throw a T in it, splice off to your first tire, uh, and I just screwed it on, screwed it on the end of it. So you would hook this up first and then measure wherever you want your front tire to be and then just cut the line, splice it together, hook it back up. starting to rain right now I'm glad I could get this video made uh, hope you like it subscribe like give me feedback let me know what you think about it I'm not selling it it's uh, just something that I wanted to pass along and let you know how easy it was to build actually and how useful it could be for uh, even older people people with bad backs people with bad knees there's a lot of benefits to it because I know we all like to wheel and have fun but the part we don't like is probably the airing up and airing down uh before we head home or before we get to the trail everyone's always in a hurry no one wants to be the guy that's holding everybody up uh this is just a good system i think it's worked well for me i've used it four or five times so far just running it through its paces seeing what uh, is good and bad about it but it's going to help me a lot maybe it'll help somebody else just wanted to pass that along Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, 